Hello my people, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial we are going to be making this cable stitch oversized cardigan. I already did this in a sweater, the cable stitch, and most of you loved it. So I decided to create a cardigan for those who love cardigans. And I love this to be oversized because oversized cardigans are quite trendy and I just, they, they are a vibe, I just love them. So if you're like me and you love an oversized cardigan, I will be showing you how to make this in different sizes. Uh, you can also make it longer or shorter if you like. And you can change the colors. doesn't have to be stripes. You can use uh, different colors totally. Uh, yeah, so before we get into the tutorial, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Jan, Betty, Donna, Anika, and Filma for supporting my channel. And you can do that. You could support me too. The details are in the comment section. So... Let's dive into the tutorial. Today, I'm going to be needing a tape measure. You will need a hook and this is going to be a 4.0 millimeter hook size. You will need scissors and yarn. I'm going to be using these three colors. This yarn is from Durable Yarn. It is like the softest yarn ever. And you can order this from www.durableyarn.com. And yeah, uh, it's very soft. You can use different colors, but this is a size three yarn. You can use any other brand that you like. It's 105 meters for each skein. I used 18 skeins, three for black, three for, uh, for the white and the rest for that. It's 42 polyacrylic and 58% uh, cotton. It is a size three, like I said, so you can replace it or order from their website. This is a neon orange. I will use neon orange and then I'll use the black and the white. All right. Oh, I changed, the, <laughs> I changed the, the covers, but you get it. So I used 18 skeins of this and that's for my size extra small uh, stroke small. Um, yeah, for a bigger size, you'll need more yarn. All right, so this is our cardigan and we are going to work it in panels. So we'll start with the back panel and once we are done with the back panel, we'll do the front panels. And once we're done with the front panels, we'll attach them to the back panel and then we do the sleeves separately and attach them to the rest. And then the ribbing comes in last. This is a size extra small, stroke small for me, but you can wear this even for medium if you don't like very oversized because this is an oversized, okay? So these are the chains you'll be chaining for your back panel for different sizes, okay? I'm making a small size, stroke extra small, all right? So we are going to begin with a chain, okay? So make a slip knot and then... For a size extra small stroke small, you are going to make 96 chains. And for the rest of the sizes, check the, measure, the chain chart and uh, you are going to chain that number of chains for your size. If you want it a bit smaller fit on you, then you can go a size lower. All right. Like I said, it's an oversize. I'll meet you when I have 96 chains. So I have my 96 chains and this is about 24 inches. As you can see, it's a, an oversized. Like I said, you can go a, a, a size smaller if you want it a little bit uh, not so baggy. But yeah, so it's my 24 inches. And we are going to be, this pattern is worked in a multiple of 10 plus 6 in stitches all right so we are going to start on row one which means you're going to skip this first stitch here and into the second chain you are going to make a single crochet so our row one is going to be a row of single crochets all right so this is how you make a single crochet you're going to go into the next chain and make a single crochet you are going to go into the third chain and make a single crochet and you're going to make single crochets in every chain until you get to the end of this chain. At the end of it all, if you're making a size extra small stroke small, you should have 96, 95 stitches. Okay. 
and if you're making for example medium it's 115 stitches like that so i came to the end and this is how our first row looks like a row of single crochets like this yarn is really soft it's really nice to work with and it just feels great on the skin so we are going to go to row two and for row two we are going to chain two chains because we are working double crochets okay so two chains and then you're going to turn your work so this th this pattern is a repeat of two rows so this chain two counts as a stitch right so we do not work here because we already have that chain so we work in this next stitch instead chain two counts as a stitch so now we go into the next stitch and make a double crochet this is how you make a double crochet you pull through twice so yarn over go into your next stitch and make a double crochet like i said this is a row of double crochets you're going to make double crochets in every stitch until you get to the end the chain two at the beginning counts as a stitch so by the end of it all i should have my 95 double crochets that includes the chain two at the beginning i'll see you at the end so i'm coming to the end this is going to be my last stitch right here you can see i have these two loops at the top so i go under those two loops and i make my last double crochet so the next one is going to be a single crochet like i said it's a repeat of two rows so it's going to be a single crochet row then a double crochet row single crochet row then double crochet row all right so chain one for single crochet rows we are chaining one and for double crochets we are chaining two at the beginning all right so for single crochet the chain doesn't count as a stitch so you are going to work in that very first stitch is that clear so into this very first stitch we work our single crochet because our chain one does not count as a stitch okay so now i'm going to work 95 single crochets and i will meet you at the end all right you already know that the the, the ch foundation chains for the rest of the sizes so you should have about 115 then 135 all right for the other sizes all right so i see you at the end all right i'm at the end and this is very important okay this is very important on top of this two chains that's why you make your last stitch do not forget or else you'll be losing a stitch on every row right on top of the chain two you make your last single crochet all right so now we are going to the next row of double crochet so i will chain two turn my work and double chain two counts as a stitch so i will not work in this stitch here instead i will work in this next stitch and this is going to be my second stitch so chain two is one and this is my second stitch and i need to make five stitches because we are making five double crochets and then five cables and this is the row where we start our cable stitch okay so i'm going to make a total of five double crochets including the chain two okay all right so we have five and now we are going to start with our cable stitch so our cable stitch is going to be like a front post how you would work a front post but instead of working it's a treble so we are we are yarning over twice three times twice okay so we are not working in a single crochet but working in the double crochet row for this cable okay so one two three four five now into the sixth is where we will make our treble front post okay so one two three four five into the sixth stitch so go under that sixth stitch like that we have these three loops on the hook and i'm just going to yarn over pull it to the height that you would of a double crochet and then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through okay 
so we are working below so yarn over pull through two again and then one of yarn over pull through the last two all right so next step is we are going to skip this second stitch here and we are instead going to work into this third stitch so you're going to yarn over three times i mean twice <laughs> And then skip your next stitch we are always going to skip the second stitch when we're working the this cable so go into the third stitch make that front post cable i mean uh, triple treble what's wrong with me make that front post treble and then go into your next stitch and make your third front post treble so yarn over twice and you are going to make a treble there so that's your third stitch now for the fourth stitch we are going to go back to the one that we skipped okay this stitch that we skipped here we will always work it as our fourth stitch so go back to it like this put your hook under and make a treble All right, and then we are going to make our last stitch, which is the last one. So we have four here, yarn over twice, and this is going to be our fifth stitch. So our cable is, is done, all right? And now we are going to go back to the double crochets, and we're working the double crochets in the single crochet side, okay? So it's, it's not hard. All right, so here behind we skipped five stitches because we worked like it's like a front post, okay? So now in this next stitch, I'll go ahead and work a double crochet. And I'm going to work five double crochets. So as you can see at the back, that is five stitches skipped at the back. All right. So it's not that hard and I'm going to show you one more time. So let's do the five double crochets and then we go back to making the cable. That's three, four, and five. So next comes the cable. This is the first row of the cable. So you kind of have to count, but after that, then you don't. So in the sixth stitch here, I'll work my first cable stitch. And what did we say about the second cable stitch? We skip that one and then work into the third one. So we work our second cable stitch into the third stitch. So we work the fourth one, the third one right into the fourth stitch. Okay. And then we work the fourth one backwards where we left the one behind that was the second stitch. Okay. So I go back here this stitch here that I left behind and then work my cable stitch in there. And then my last one, which is my fifth one will be in this last stitch. I don't know if I make sense. I think I do. So what do we do next? Next is five, C, five double crochets. So it's just a repetition of this. So I'll, I will show you one more time. Okay. So we do five double crochets. Four and five. And then we do the trebles. Okay so which would be your sixth stitch we go down a, a row below into the double crochet row and we make a treble in that sixth stitch so treble one and then skip one stitch and into the next stitch make your second treble and the stitch right after that make your third treble 
and for your fourth treble you are going to go backwards to the stitch that you skipped which is this right here and make a treble oops And then make your last one at the end here and that's it so you're just going to repeat this until you get to the end okay so it's five stitches of treble and five stitches of the normal double crochet okay i will see you at the end All right, so I'm coming to the end and I have done four double crochets. So I have only one stitch left because they need to be five and it's to on top of this last single crochet. All right, so next is a row of single crochets like you know. All right, so this is how it looks so far, our first row of cable. So next is single crochet. So we chain one, then turn our work and since the chain one doesn't count as a stitch we are working in this very fast stitch so we work our single crochet in there and i am going to work until i have total number of 95 single crochets so if you st start to lose uh stitches no it's definitely at the end of this row okay at the end of every single row that's where you could lose stitches if you're not working on top of the chain two so get to the end i worked on top of that chain two with a single crochet and now i'm on back on the double crochet row so chain two and now we start again on the double crochet so you are going to make five double crochets that includes the chain two And that's five all right so one two three four five and now we are back to the cable so here we don't need to even count because the cables are already there so just go on top of the previous cable stitch under there like this and make a treble and then the rule still stands skip the second stitch and work your second treble into the third stitch so we are going right here this is where we are going to work our second treble and then for the third treble you are going to work it here For the fourth treble we are going to go backwards to the one that we already skipped and then work our treble there and the last one is uh right here where we had the last one so this is our fifth one and that's it so all right so it's just uh repeating this and now next is just doing double crochets five of them so on top of every double crochet that you have i mean on top of every single crochet that's where we are working we work five double crochet five double crochets and then we begin again with a cable all right so cable stitch where we have a cable stitch previously so you are putting your hook under the previous cable stitch and then you skip number two you go to number three go to the third stitch make a cable this is going to be your third cable cable or treble you know what i mean <laughs> So you're going to work your fourth one in the one that we already skipped so go backwards like this
and then this is going to be your last one and basically you're just going to repeat this process until you get to the end of the row and i will meet you there all right i'll meet you at the end of the row so i've come to the end of the row and i just have one double crochet to make so this is my fifth double crochet and i want to change colors for this all right so i'm changing colors after every three rows of double crochet if you want to change colors you can do the same or you can just arrange it the way you like so i just cut off the yarn and for the next part which is the single crochet that's where i begin with another color so i reattach in that very first stitch like this if you're not changing colors please don't just continue okay so this is for those changing colors so I chain one and I go into that very same stitch where I reattached and make a single crochet and I am weaving in the ends as I go I'm working on top of the ends I don't know I don't know the term for it but yeah so that I don't have to weave them in later and this works perfectly All right so single crochets till the end it's the same pattern once you get to the end you don't forget to put a single crochet on top of that chain too, please. Otherwise, your work will be not the same. There are five stitches that we skip for the cables and there are five double crochets that we do for the cables. You should have the same number of stitches all through. Just keep repeating this until you get to the height that you want or length that you want right so i changed colors this is how i was trying it and at the end this is the length that i wanted you can make this shorter or longer depending on how you like it i love how this yarn just makes this stitch look it's just yeah it's it's good quality yarn and it's soft and it just looks nice in person it really looks nice i don't think this does it any justice the camera does it any jacks does this anyway for my size i did a length of 22 inches which is the same of about 55 55 centimeters all right so that is my length you can make it longer if you want a very long one or shorter if you want a short one but this is the height that i have just that covers my bum a little bit okay so what we are going to do is sing the front panels. So the front panels, we are leaving these three cables in the middle for our neckline. And then we are doing, for this size, I'm doing these um, three cables on one side and then the other three cables on the other side, but only leaving these 25 stitches in the middle. I'm only leaving 25 stitches in the middle and the rest will work the front panel and the back panel. So for the measurements for the front panels, they are going to be very identical to front panels. The height is same as back panel. All that we are missing 25 stitches in the middle and this is going to be your measurements. So size extra small, small one front panel will be 36 chains. All right. So and the rest of the uh, sizes please check the chart for that uh so do two front panels i will not show you it's the same thing chain 36 you know and and you have 35 single crochets and then you you, you just repeat so it's yeah it's three cable stitches and three and four single crochets so do two front panels same number of rows like you did with the back panel and we are going to join them to the back panel once you are done with that all right so it's simple i didn't want to repeat it because it's the same pattern really it's just a, a smaller portion of what we had before all right so do that and let's join them so 
To join them, we are going to lay them like this, you know, the wrong sides facing up and then the front sides facing each other. So we lay them like this and we're going to join here and here that is the shoulder part. All right. So I am going to be using this darning needle, but you can use the hook if you want with slip, st slip stitches or you can use single crochets to join. But I will be using this needle because it's simpler and it's faster and it is, I think, neater sometimes. Yeah. So. Anyway, I'm going to this very first stitch and into this very first one here. That's on top of the chain two. And I am just going to pull and tie just to secure it. I don't use any specific uh, complicated method here. I want to keep it simple. So I'm just go going to go into each stitch with at the front panel and the back panel like this and pull you know I don't know the technical term for this so yeah this is what I'm doing you can I'm sure there are better ways to join this so if you don't like to complicate things like me you can just do this or use single crochets or use uh, slip stitches to join all right so you're just gonna watch me do this i think Anyway, you get the point. So you just keep on doing this until you get to the end here. Make sure your cables are lying together, your double crochets are lying together on the other side and there's no, you know, mixing stitches here, okay? So once you're done, do the other side too. Uh, so once you have your two front panels attached to the back panel, um, yeah this <laughs> this cardigan is massive so attach the other side too and i'll meet you so that we can now start on the sleeves all right so this is how it looks like once you're done so let's get into the sleeves so the sleeve looks like this it only has one cable all right because I, I thought you know that would be best and i switched up the colors because i thought black and next to white would have more contrast and i just you know yeah was trying it out so you can make it uniform or you can just yeah anyway so my sleeve is about 18.5 inches wide this is before i fold it into a sleeve and that's about i don't know 47 centimeters all right so but when we wear it, then it's folded like this, okay? So it's about 9.25 inches. So I changed the colors like you can see, but you can stay with your color combination or whatever. Uh, yeah, so let's start on the sleeve. I'll give you the measurements for the sleeve. So for extra small stroke small, I'm doing 66 stitches. That means chains. That means I have 30 on one side, 30 on another side, and 5 for the, for the cables. All right, so we make a, a chain that is equivalent to 66 stitches. If you're making medium, large, 76, and you're making XL, XXL, that's 86 chains. All right, and 86 chains. So I'll make 66 and meet you. All right, so this is my 66 um stitches and this is about you know 18 18 inches all right so and in the end my my, my mine was about 18.5 so it it increases a little bit but we start with 18 chains i mean 66 chains and this gives us a total number of 65 single crochets all right so why because we are skipping this very first stitch here 
So we have 30 on one side, 30 on the next size, and then in the middle we have this five for the cable, all right? So we skip this very first one right here. These are the five I'm talking about. So let's start on this single crochet row. So skip the first chain, this one here, not considering the one on the hook, and into that very second chain, you are going to make a single crochet. And you're going to go into the very same, the next stitch and make a single crochet, next stitch and make a single crochet. So you're making single crochets in every stitch until you get to the end. I will have a total number of 65 single crochets. It's the same pattern as we had for the back panel and front panels, but we are only doing one cable. Okay, so that's the only difference. See you at the end. I am at the end. and. Um, this is what we have. So we need to start on our double crochet row and you remember how we do it. So we chain two and then chain two counts as a stitch. So we don't work in that very first one. However, we work in our second stitch. Don't, this counts as a stitch, no working here. We work in this one. Okay, so second stitch counts as our second double crochet. So we have two already. Now this is double crochet number three, double crochet number four, and we are not counting to five, we are counting to 30, all right? Okay, so if you're doing medium and large, then you'll do 35, 35, 35, then five cable, then 35, okay? If you're doing large, extra large, I mean extra large and XXL, you'll do 40, then five cable, then 40 on the other side, all right? So, but for this row here, we are only doing double crochets till the end, all right? So this is going to be my last double crochet because we start our cable stitch on our third row, okay? So this is our second row. No, we started on our fourth row. This is our second row. Now we are going to our third row, which is a row of single crochets, like you know from before. Chain one doesn't count as a stitch, so this is going to be our very first stitch, which is a single crochet. All right, so. We are going to be making one single crochet in every stitch, and at the end of it, I should have 65 single crochets. So I'll see you at the end of this single crochet row. Just to remind you how we finish it off so that you don't forget to put a stitch on top of your chain two. So I'm coming to the end. And as you can see, I have two stitches left. This one here, you could mistake that for the last stitch, but it is not the last stitch. Okay, so this is second last stitch. So now, this is not the end, okay? On top of this chain three, I mean chain two, you need to make a single crochet for you to be able to have the 65 stitches. Don't forget that, all right? Do not forget that. Anyway, so our next row is going to be a row where we start our cable. So we are going to chain two. Chain two counts as a stitch, so I am going to skip this one here and go into this second stitch because this already counts as a stitch and make my second double crochet. All right. And I'm going to go on and make a total of 30 double crochets before I do the cable because we have the cable in the middle, just one cable. So it's going to be 30 double crochets and I will need you so that we can do the cable. So I Go all the way, okay, 30, 30, 30, all right, go all the way and I will meet you. So I'm done with my 30 stitches and now I need to do a cable, so this counts as a stitch, all right, so I'm just going to go into my next stitch, but I will go a row below. This was my last stitch here. So this is going to be where I make my uh, treble front post. Okay, so I just go under it like this. And then I make that 
treble then yarn over twice skip the next stitch the rule still stands skip the next stitch and go into the third stitch to make your second treble and then your next one which is our third one right into the next stitch and our fourth one goes to where we skipped so this stitch right here that's where we make our fourth treble okay one this second one okay here and then our last one is should be in our fifth stitch this one here that's our fifth one and our last one we are only making one uh, cable for the sleeves so you are going to go into your next uh, single crochet right here on top of this uh, double crochet and make a double crochet and you're going to go on and make 30 double crochets that is if you're doing extra small small and if you're doing medium large you're going to make uh, 35 and if you're doing XL, XSL, that's 40 double crochets. All right, I'll see you at the end. So I'm at the end and I have one double crochet to go. That's my last stitch here. And as you know, we chain one, turn our work, and now we work a single crochet row. So this very first one counts as our very first stitch on this single crochet row so you make single crochets in every stitch and till you get to the end all right so single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row and i'll meet you at the end just to show you where you need to put your last stitch to remind you all right so i'm coming to the end this is the most important end that you need to remember after at the end of every single crochet row you have to remember to put your stitch on top of that chain two okay so this is not my last stitch however my last stitch is this one here at the top of the chain two all right so next is your chain two turn your work and chain two counts as a stitch so obviously you are not working in the very first stitch here however you work in this one and you are going to make a total number of 30 stitches that's for a small size okay and i'll meet you here so i'm coming towards the cables and this is going to be my 30th double crochet so now i do the cable so you already know how to do this just go below this previous one and make your treble and then skip your second one go into the third one and make your second treble into the third stitch okay skip one go into the next make a treble go right into the next one make a treble under it like this and then your next one is going to be into the one you skipped so go backwards to that second stitch that you skipped make your treble and then your fifth treble is going to be in that last one here So do that until you get to the end. Once you get to the end, then of course you do um, single crochets and then you're going to just repeat the process, the process until you have the length of your sleeve. Okay. I am a five zero. All right. So I will tell you the length of the sleeve that I did, but you can always make it longer if you want, depending on how uh you know tall you are maybe your arms are taller all right so i will let you know all right so this is what i have for my sleeve i did 
three times color changes and this is about uh, 15 15 inches and it's about 38 centimeters yeah 38 centimeters all right so you can make it longer and add some more uh, rows but this is what i did all right so i already attached this to my cardigan and i did the the ribbing all right only on one side so i'm going to show you exactly how i did this all right so on the other side i've not done it yet and i am going to show you how to do this so you're going to lay your cardigan like this this is the wrong side facing up and you are going to take your sleeve light facing the same way i want this to be at the bottom where is where i started i want it to be at the bottom of the sleeve and i'm going to attach where i ended my sleeve to the rest of the cardigan okay so i have 30 on one side 30 on the other side and five five in the middle so i will go into the middle stitch of those five which is the third stitch right here like this of the cable and then attach it to where i join the front panel and the back panels which is right there all right so i want to attach it like this so which means i have like 32 stitches on one side and 32 stitches on the front panel and 32 stitches at the back panel all right and then one stitch is what is in attached right where i joined the front and the back panel all right so just light straight like this make sure it's not curled you know and i'm just going to see where it ends and i'll put a stitch marker should be the same exact stitch on the other side doesn't matter if it's not fitting a little bit on the other side just pull it to that point okay so that you're attaching them on the same uh, stitch or on the same row something like that okay so the, the it cannot be attached to i don't know row 18 on one side and then on this side it's like on row 20 that doesn't work right so if it's row 18 it's row 18 for both sides i'm not saying i'm attaching it on row 18 but yeah you can see where i attached it so i am going to use uh, slip stitch for this I think so just reattach my yarn you can use your yarning dunning needle if you want but yeah let's try this so I'm going to just slip stitch in every stitch that I see only the front side of the sleeve is defined by the stitches the other side is not so I'm just just going in like that so I just go through the stitches at the front and straight push my hook to the back in whatever stitch it lands. So I will stitch, slip stitch my way to the middle and then to the other side until I get to where I have my stitch marker or to the row where I want it to you know attached so that they're identical and that's it and then you just go to this side and i'll meet you when i'm down here okay This is how it's looking. So this is when it's done. And now we need to fold the sleeves so that we can now attach, uh, join the sleeve together. So 
still working on the wrong side so we'll fold it like this and we are right in the underarm so i'm going to start from the underarm i didn't cut off my yarn so because we're still working with that yarn just cut off from the under i mean continue from the underarm all the way down okay so Make sure your rows are aligned properly. You don't want to be sewing a different color in a, you know. So I'm just going in with slip stitches you could use single crochets or you could use your dunning needle depends on what you prefer but I'll just go in like this with slip stitches All right, I'll see you at the bottom. So I came all the way from here, all the way to down here. And now we want to do the ribbing. I wanted to do a different kind of ribbing. And then I told myself, Agnes, you know what? Front post, back post is like the easiest, best ribbing ever. Doesn't need a lot of hassle. So why give yourself trouble to, you know, make like single crochet ribbing or whatever, if this is perfect, so yeah i couldn't get myself to do a different kind of ribbing so we need to do this ribbing on the right side so i'm just going to turn this inside out or out inside i don't know whatever on the right side so pull that through and our sleeve is big so we need to make um deductions reductions for it to fit our wrist so this is what we are going to be doing in this part of the tutorial so you are going to make a chain of two and then you are going to go into this uh, single crochet right here like this we are going to be working in two double crochets at a go. So you go in and go out in the second double crochet, okay? And then make your double crochet like this. So I can only sh explain it to you. You just have to look at it because I have no... I don't know how to explain it in words, okay? So we are working in two stitches at a go. So you go in into one stitch and out of the other stitch like that. Not from, you know... In between the stitches like in out I don't know how to explain it and you don't work in the one we already worked okay so just go into a fresh one like this in out so it means we are working two stitches in one and that makes the reduction from the number of stitches that we had into half If this looks complicated for you, you can just do the normal reduction where you reduce two stitches where you reduce a stitch i don't know how to explain it but you get it if you've followed me for a while you know i use this all the time so yeah so i'm at the end of the row and this is my last double crochet 
and on top of this chain two i'm going to close it off like this and now we're going to start on our front post and back post stitches so chain two yarn over and you're going to make a front post and then you're going to go into the next stitch and make a back post next is the front post and a back post so it's an alternating between front post and back post front post and back post until you get to the end of the row and i will meet you at the end So I'm coming to the end of the row and this is my last stitch. It's a back post and then close the row off the round off uh, with a slip stitch on top of that chain two. Then you're going to chain two and now you're going to start again front post where you have a front post and back post where you had a back post. Front post, back post front post back post and you are going to do this till you get to the end of the round and basically you're going just going to go round and round and round like this until you have the 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 cuff that you want the length of the cuff that you like i did about six rows you know so it is stretchy it looks nice and i just love it one two three four five six i think uh, yeah i did six so do that and i'll see you when you have your cuff ready so that we can start on joining the rest of the of this all right we'll join this from top underarm to the bottom okay all right so to join this we're just going to reattach the yarn here and it's the same thing i'll be using slip stitches all the way to the bottom so simply reattach your yarn and slip stitch making sure your colors are matching and your rows are matching so i'm just going to slip stitch till the end and once you're done with that once you get to the bottom then you'll do the other sleeve too and also do the cuff for that sleeve and then go all the way to the bottom with this same as this and then we will be ready then to do the bottom ribbing all right so slip stitch your way all to the bottom and once you're done then we'll do the the ribbing at the at the, at the bottom all right but you need to put all the sleeves on same thing all right so two sleeves on this is how it looks right now so let's get done with the bottom ribbing and then we can do the ribbing around the neckline and the front sides all that all right so bottom ribbing is coming now so we are starting at the bottom right here of one corner reattach your yarn in that corner and we will be making reductions but this is going to be different all right so you chain three yarn over and what we are going to do is make a front post right in this stitch here okay so i'm going to go in there and make a front post but i'm not skipping so i'm going right into the next one and making a back post okay then front post like this 
I'm not making reductions like we did for the other sleeve, okay? So I'm just working right into that stitch, like going in like this. And then when I come from the back, I'm still working in that stitch. So I'm not working two stitches at a go. I'm only working one stitch at a time. All right. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then my eighth stitch, I do a reduction. So I go into over two single crochets like this instead of one. All right. Like this two. And then that's my eighth. Then I start again, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post. And now on the eighth one, I need to make a reduction. So I go under two instead of one. So you're just going to keep repeating this until you get to the end on the other side. All right, so we are making front post, back post, front post, back post for seven stitches. And then the eighth stitch, we make a reduction that is working under two instead of one stitch, all right? So repeat that until the end and I'll see you at the end. So I'm at the end and we will be ending this, uh, the, the row with a double crochet. So every last stitch is going to be a double crochet on every row. So we chain three, turn our work, and that chain three counts as our first stitch. So now we are just going to go straight into where we have our back post or our front post and do that. So for me, I had a front post as my last uh, yeah, stitch. I had a double crochet, of course, which counts with the chain three here. And now I do this as a back post because it has ended as a front post. Okay, so now I do this as a front post and then back post. So where there's a front post, do a front post and where there's a back post, do a back post. Okay. And just repeat this until you get to the end of the row. Okay, I'll see you at the end. It's just a repeat of front post and back post. So I'm coming to the end of the row and like I said, you do your front post and back post and the last stitch is always going to be a double crochet. So on top of this chain three, because the chain three counts as a stitch, I will make a double crochet. So then I'm for the next row, I'm going to chain three, turn my work and then work front post, back post, front post, back post till the end. And at the end, I make a double crochet and I'm going to repeat this until I have enough rows that I want. Depends on you, you can make them fewer or more or just the same as mine. All right. I'll see you when I'm done with my rows to tell you how many that I did. Just keep repeating. So this is, yeah, it. So we don't cut off the yarn at, the, at this moment because we need to work on now this other part. All right. I did five, five rows, okay, of front post and back post. So now we need to work on this other side. So we are going to chain three. And watch where I place my stitches, all right? I bring this closer. Watch where I, pre I place my stitches. So here, one double crochet. We will work one double crochets only for this row just to clean it out because we don't have where to work our front posts and back posts, okay? Watch where I'm placing my stitches.
so now that's the end of the ribbing part okay so now we are on this other part so watch how i do it So I'm like placing one stitch in the double crochet row and then another stitch in the single crochet row like that. So you're just going to do this all the way to the top around the neckline and all the way back down okay so i went all the way down and i'm going to put a stitch here okay so now we start on row two which means you chain three you turn your work and you're going to work front post and back post so you leave alone that first double crochet so into your second double crochet you make a front post could be a back post any so i'll just start with a back post just to show you that it's possible to start with a back post and then make a front post back post front post So you already know this it's the same pattern like we had at the bottom only here we are not making any reduction so just make front post back post and you're just going to keep repeating you get to the end you make a double crochet you chain three turn again all right so cut off your uh, leftover yarns and you have your cardigan this is how i styled it you can wear it the way you want and i hope you like it so if you do share with your friends and um, this helps my channel grow also like leave a comment and yeah oh if you want to reshare this you can reshare with me on my instagram socials it's ac crochets on all platforms and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next tutorial bye